All right, hello everyone and welcome to my Mountain of Shame. Today we have the 2012 game Oil Rush uh, from Unigain. Um, so, yes. Um, never heard of them, but apparently they've made their own engine, which is fairly good. I may have watched a video on this a very, very, very long time ago. Um, yeah, but still. Um, so as we can see here, it looks like this is uh, must be based in San Francisco, post Buckland in San Francisco. We've got the, I assume is a Golden Gate Bridge or some sort of a suspension bridge in the background, and uh, everything has been uh, destroyed. So we're just working off oil rigs now. Okay, fair, I suppose. Um, I already turned the graphics up to maximum in the um, in the little uh, pop-up menu it had, which is quite nice. So that's good. Who knows? Alright, so I'm just going to jump straight into the campaign because obviously I'm going to do the multiplayer. Um, and we're going to see if this game is worth playing. Uh, it, as all others, gets 30 minutes off my mountain of shame to see if it's actually worth keeping on my computer and maybe playing now and then, or if it's something I should have just left in the mountain forever. So let's begin. The wall. Let's get up. Oh. We were dragged into it. We had no choice. We fought to survive. Uh -huh. We were forced to use the weapon. The ultimate weapon. A nuclear bomb, I assume. Yep. I feel like the world's now, already destroyed. There is no stopping it. The earth has changed. Dry land is no more. Yeah, because you probably blew up all the Everything ice caps. Everything we fought for has disappeared under the sea. But we'll get to it, no matter the cost. God, this guy sounds evil. Our losses are enormous, and finally we realize the true value of things. So much has been spilled in vain. Oh. So much. Uh, why did you just go for nuclear power then? I don't know. Okay, fair enough. Um, huh. That was a dark opening. And if he's my boss, I'm not sure I really like him that much. Let's see. Um, the Sharks are a powerful military organization that controls the nearby borders. Kevin, a green rookie fresh from the Naval Academy, has joined its ranks and taken command of a small fleet. The commander, leader of the Sharks, sends him on a mission to the west of the base, where two platforms have suddenly gone silent. The sex of the band of Relius outsiders known as the Raiders have stormed the region on their scrapboats. Kevin needs to discover and eliminate the root of the problem. Okay, fair enough. This is not what I expected. You know, what I expected, but it's not that. Okay, so. The Shah. Okay, so. Learn the basics of issuing commands to the fleet and investigate the two distant platforms. I have boot camp, which is where I can build piranhas, and I have piranhas. Okay. Fair, fair enough. Okay, it's an RTS then, clearly. Which is good. So no, I've never seen this game before. I thought I may have seen it a few years ago, but no. I, I'm thinking of a different game, clearly. Congratulations on your graduation oh. from the Academy, Kevin. Still you intro. are now a part of the only organized force capable of upholding order over thousands of miles. I have you, waited a long but time you destroyed for you everything. to join our ranks and follow in your father's footsteps. Uh, okay. Commander, since my father's death, you've treated me like your own son. You can count on me at any time an Australian and in any accent? situation. And I'm willing to match my words with actions. Give me a fleet to command, and I won't let you down. Remember, we have to defend what little shreds of civilization so, are left in this world. Instead of sea pirates, the Raiders, these guys are sea fascists, society right? Are causing a disturbance to the west of our base. I'm putting you on a mission to suppress them. I know it We've sounds lost like you helped destroy with two everything. Remote but okay. Platforms. Your objective is to re-establish control over them. Okay. A digital assistant will guide you through our tactical control system. Okay, sounds good. This fleet is now under your command. It is just enough to defeat the raiders, as they usually come in small groups. Okay. You've got six piranha units at your disposal. To observe right. the battle scene. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we're fine. Press and hold the middle mouse button. Press Q yeah, and yeah, we're on press it. R to return yeah. to the default camera view. All good. To change it's not producing more, on the nice. mini map with the middle mouse button or okay. double click to jump to click the left mouse button on your plan. Click the okay. right mouse button anywhere on the sea to still more the platform. Apparently, which is nice. 
This is the platform we've lost contact with. The raiders on their rust buckets must have captured it. Yep, I'm still Find building. Find out what's happening and report back. This is interesting. Does that mean I didn't have any direct control Click in my troops? Click the left mouse button on your platform to select all ah. units near it. Then, oh. click the right mouse button on the enemy platform to send Oh, them it's to one of these it. games! It's one of these games where you Pressing have... F engages oh. camera cinematic mode, showing the most important actions nearby. Oh, so it's one of these games, like where you have Press all the, F immediately the fleet after and... sending the fleet, okay. and the camera will follow it, as it is the most important oh. action in the vicinity. This is definitely not what I was expecting. Move it's one of the these mouse sort of games. pointer over a unit and press F to follow it. Your fleet automatically attacks the enemy in the vicinity, both on route and on reaching the destination. Okay. This vertical bar indicates your progress in capturing the platform. And is the platform just about making more piranhas? Very this horizontal like. bar indicates the building progress And they just change their helmet color. I was like, eh, we'll work for others here. Okay. All capture platforms automatically build new units until the maximum limit is reached. Okay. Status Reach. report. The platform is captured and the enemy is destroyed. I need a status update on the remaining platform. Meanwhile, this one's still building. Select the boot camp. Click on the 25% button over the minimap to send a small group of your troops and explore the remaining platform. Sure. I feel like if I just sent everyone, it would have probably, uh, it probably would have went better. Okay. I'm not so about to get ambushed, I suppose. It's the Raiders again. The enemy is prepared for an attack, but I will fight them off. Uh, you probably could have done it to send everyone in the first place. Instead, you this lost those three planes for nothing. This platform is defended by machine gun bunkers. To destroy the enemy, send all troops That's what I was going to do until you told me not to. Click on the 100% button above the minimap and yes, gather yes. all units on the nearest platform. When done, send all of them oh, wait, to the wait, enemy wait. platform. Oh shit. Oh shit, I meant... Okay. I was meaning to have them both... I should have sent these ones here first. Oh well, it'll be reinforcements halfway through. I'm sure it'll go fine. Ah oh, well, they'll start building it soon. I mean, I do feel like I'm the bad guy here, but okay. Like, I'm even red and everything. They're yellow. Yellow isn't traditionally considered bad. Like, shouldn't they be red and I'm blue? No, because apparently I'm the baddie. And there comes the reinforcements right in time. And now everything's down. Fair enough. Not bad, Kevin. I've already got another. Oh, this is so weird. My name is Kevin, and he's just using. It's all like, ah, not bad, Commander. Good job, Commander. It's Kevin. I'm not even. I don't even have a rank apparently in this military organization. Oh great, and it's got my name there too. Lovely. Thank you, game. Thank you. Alright, so I have an oil rig, extraction, shabby crack of the raiders, machine gun bunker, artillery tub, nice, radar, and you know, weapon upgrades. After dealing with the rebels, Kevin is ordered to restore the oil production that the raiders have disrupted in the neighboring area. The inhabitants of the surrounding fishing village are too busy working their substance, uh, su substance to participate in the conflict and have no interest in defending the lone oil rig. The commander explains that the oil rig is in high, uh, high demand and short supply. As Kevin surveys the region, he realizes the ray is not going to back down how to fight. Okay, there's Kevin, different types of buildings. I want you to play. understand the good. importance of your next mission. 
It is oil that keeps our society alive. Neither our defense nor our transportation would be possible without oil. It allows our ships to sail and our planes to fly. I feel like you could have put more technology into nuclear or something Without else. oil, there can be no electricity, no heating, no medicine, no plastic. We would be living in caves if they weren't all flooded. Uh-huh. You must capture the oil rig and provide a constant flow of oil for our army. Basically, this is like the Extract death. Extract crude oil. Oh. So basically... Send your fleet to capture the oil rig. Basically, this game is all about what happens if everything goes wrong. Gotcha. I do like how they, they, they like, um... Like team up before they head together, that's nice. I guess oil rigs I can use, hopefully to upgrade my uh, fleet capacity as well. Good thing they hadn't claimed it. That would have been awkward. Now nothing was and nothing of value was lost. I love how there's still people working on this. In the they say, also, he who controls the oil controls the Yeah, that the shark logo is really uh, what? No, they say spice. It so spice. Okay, sure. Um, but I started with 200. Does that really count? Has been received from our platform not far from you. These raiders have gotten arrogant. If there are no defensive towers around a platform, it can easily be captured. Prepare for incoming enemies. Uh huh. I don't know if that's. The, is that. Okay. Double click okay, on your platform to Ooh. enter construction mode. Okay, double click. Oh, cool! Build five towers by clicking the relevant icons around the construction slots. Press the right mouse button to exit construction mode. Okay, I like that. That's cool. Can I do the same for the uh, oil derricks? I can not do the same for the oil derricks, so it's Oh, I do open the building. Come on, guys. Also, that's really not how extracting works, but okay. Wait, Ooh, let's look again. Uh, in the top the right the corner, you can see your main and additional objectives. Uh, yep, I can. Yes, I can, indeed. To I've fight off the towers. attack on the platform, reinforce the defensive towers with troops. Okay. As you okay. advance 50. in tactical mastery, more technologies will be available to you. Oh, it's in the whole thing. I don't know. Oh, you can see. Give me another 50. Okay, go for it, guys. And uh, let's rebuild as well. I don't think there's any rule against rebuilding. Yeah, in fact, they don't seem to care that I'm still building troops as they're attacking me. So, fair enough. I'd be personally trying to target those directly, but okay. Nope, they're just letting it build. That's nice of them, really. They're just letting it build. That is very nice of them. You will gain experience points every time you destroy oh, enemy Gary. troops. Thank you for leaving my other towers alone. Use them to acquire new skills and like technologies. I had a repair. Something Click on good. the blinking button above to open the technology tree or I, press I will. I want to repair first. Can I repair? Oh, okay. All right, Click technology. on the radar skill. It allowed. Now okay. a unit weapon upgrade skill is available. Click okay. it. Okay. Press escape or T. Active skills are shown on the skill bar. Your primary objective is to extract oil. Clear the area of raiders if possible. 
But if the situation spins out of control, just get the oil. Um, great. I'm glad you have your priorities straight. Well, clearly I'm gonna get that one. What are these two? It's Raven right Shack, it's Raven right Shack. I'm gonna get that so I can double my performance anyway. So once I've reached maximum uh, capacity, which I think I have, I should just attack, right? Yeah, let's attack them, probably over there. Come on, guys. Yeah, there's no reason not to attack at this point. If I can take them, then I can stop attacking me, and then I can hopefully take their other side. Let's take a play this and build towers around this one, too. This is additional, but I don't know if that means it's a sub subjective or if it's a main one. Like it's an additional main effect. This is additional, it didn't say anything else. Alright, let's use radar again to explore that. This is just a destroy destruction thing. Ah, that's where they put their ships. Gotcha. Right, well, first of all, that didn't increase my production. Yeah, can I build? Yes, I can build. So, two, three, four, five. That's it. And I do have more, um, more stuff now. Now, they will try and attack me, I'm sure, but I think it's probably best I just try and attack them. So, let's just run straight for that as soon as I reach 18. And you move over there as well. Okay, it seems to be a lot more on that one than that one. So, let's go for the weak one first. And it might, it might regret that, but it should be fine. change what they produce. Now, more importantly, can I repair this yet? It's gonna let me enhance. Okay, that's okay. Well, this still has a capture point, so I might actually be able to capture these. I'm lucky. Oh, it actually has a capture flag, or is that to destroy it? I can't tell. Now, what's about to happen one way or another? One way! Or another, I'm going to catch you, or I'm going to destroy you, I don't really know. Well, okay, no, turn on the lights. Turn on the lights is probably a good sign that I'm actually going to capture it. Maybe it means I'll be able to build some heavier ships with that. Um, literally nothing happened when I unlocked it. Literally nothing. Okay, sure, let's attack from a few directions at once. I mean, that's pretty anticlimactic, really. I guess this is the first level. But don't worry. My light colors are on now, so we're all safe in this position. Alright, so these guys are gonna die, like, pretty much straight away, right? Yeah, these, these two are gonna die, like, almost automatically. Let's watch it. Will it actually be saved by the reinforcements? That one wasn't. Oh, and that one wasn't either. Okay, but this guy was. Congratulations, you're joining the main squad and actually not dying. There we go. Rebellion crushed. So technically at that point, that means it's just waiting for the next stuff, right? I realize I'm not doing the best defensive job, but oh well. You have found a stack of oil-filled barrels. Ah! That's hilarious. It was like, ah yes, now you need to wait until the oil refills. Oh, what's that? No you don't, you get free oil! America would love this game. You don't need to be told about climate change or, or you know, the raising sea levels because, you know, they've already happened. And all they care about is all they get to care about is oil. This is like an American utopia. A death pirate oil. To be fair, I am glad they gave me that oil, but still. Trust this mission too.
does it here? God, I feel evil right now. I hope I get to change slides. Sides. Ugh, God. I'm gonna have to... It turns out the Raiders have their own plans for the oil. They have seized oil firing among the cliffs uh, above the water production. Although water, above water production hasn't started yet. The Sharks are not willing to lose their valuable equipment or prospective oil supply. Both sides are ready to go all out and deploy enemies that either side has seen before. The commander says reinforcements support Kevin, but the raiders keep coming. Alright, so I have a shipyard to produce even bigger boats, which is cool. I have an angular boat. I have an artillery level 2, so I can actually level up my guns now, which is nice. I accelerate construction. Okay, sure. Fair enough. Not far from your current position, there's a big oil refinery which so is still under construction. This game looks construction. and plays better than I was expecting. According to the last data exchange, the raiders have occupied these waters. Wow. We don't know what, if anything, that they've done to the That is a big oil derrick. Oil refinery. Okay, oil refinery. We will lose a lot of oil if they sabotage construction. Good to hear that your lessons have paid off. <laughs> I have sent you some backup. That's quite a quite a, quite a squad. It says Piranhas alone be enough to bring them down. Oh, it should put several else see. To capture else. both platforms as fast as possible, divide your units into two groups. Sure. Select the oil rig. Okay. Click on the blinking button to remove. Send the selected piranhas to the boot camp to send them all. Select the oil rig again, and send the rest of the... Press F to focus on the okay. action. I mean, there's two bits of action, so Move I'm not really sure what to do. over the unit and press F to follow it. It's a very pretty game, considering. Like, look at all these mazes. The people is living on like, they definitely did right. Is there the other wars going? Okay. Well, I guess. Click on Accelerate Construction. This skill is used to speed up construction of towers and units. Apply Accelerate Construction skill to a friendly platform to speed up the construction of its towers and units. Okay. I should do that then. Now, speaking of towers... Now capture all other platforms. Oh damn, okay. I wasn't expecting that. Oh no, I'm running out of money. <gasps> I ran out of money! Oh no, I need more oil! Okay. So, there's a little bit more there, and a little more there. Can I use the thing to see what's over there? No, I need oil for that too. Lovely. Well, let's just first of all build up my last uh, stockpile. Well, I guess I can probably just send this army like straight out to the oil derrick, and then probably go around to the boot camp after that. As they should be fine enough. Like, the way, there shouldn't be a large number of troops here. Is what I'm saying. The rig is mined with very little cash to Good. It does make you wonder to think that this is uh this, this game is gonna get a little bit harder in a little bit, but sure. Go on. And you can go that way. They haven't actually attacked me yet, so I should be fine, I reckon. Like I've I've been able to get up all my my troop, my, my things, which is nice. I need to upgrade them now. Which I may or may not do based on what actually happens in this, in this fight. Here we 
You're fine. How are you guys going? Right, I'm getting a lot of military production. Wow, this didn't even have anything there. What a surprise. They were guarding just the oil, Derek. Okay, that was anticlimactic. Need a little bit more oil. So can I build? Can I can I build anything around this oil? No, I can't. Uh, oil rigs are still okay. So you're going fine. Everyone's still alive here too, and everything. Damn. Okay. Sure. Oh, I don't want you to move those guys. Alright, let's uh, try and get this last gun in. Fantastic. In fact, let's also use this ability on this as well. I don't know if it's still working on the other one. I honestly have no clue. You can probably go over there and give it some backup. It does not look like it's working. Alright, so we claimed everything. That was relatively quick, which makes me wonder. What's gonna happen now? Set up the defenses around yeah. your platforms. Yeah, I can. I see how it goes. Yeah, they're, pre they're preparing me for all that war right now. Oh great, there's air units as well. Lovely. Alright, now, you also have boat, but you need to know this one. Prepare for the incoming enemies. Right. If I knew where they were, I definitely would. Don't let the raiders push you back. Use all the oil you can gather to hold them off. That was the plan. So I also get that upgrade of things. towers is recommended. To make towers more powerful, enter construction mode and click the upgrade oh, button. Alright, way ahead, you bud. If all towers are upgraded at once, the platform will be left defenseless. That's okay, I've got a whole squad of people with me. I think it's actually probably safer if we upgrade this all like this now than it would be later. Like, same for this one. I could probably start upgrading this one as well. This is no. I have a time limit here, so I'd actually rather get everything upgraded. I can focus on the middle ones later. Okay, there they go. Where are they going? Okay, they are going directly past me. Are they going back to my other place? I need to go back to my other place. Alright. I can meet them there. It's fine. It's kind of funny, it's the only place I haven't started upgrading yet, but that's okay. I started upgrading the back turrets first. By the time you get to them, it should be fine. Press space to quickly jump to the current action point. Oh, and you're doing it too, so go. Yeah, it makes sense. They go for the weaker ones. That's okay, because they're only weak um, stuff anyway. Well, so these ones are upgrading, that's okay. Oof. Let's uh, upgrade these two as well. Okay, now these guys are also coming in with the inner one. Which is a pain because I haven't actually started upgrading this one at all. Oh, there's not, they're going into the other one. Oh god, good thing I upgrade everything. Probably means that can probably get back there as well. There we go. Those have been upgraded though, so it should be alright. Oh no, not all of them, just those two. Okay, that's fine. Ah shit. The upgrade one is already dead, so that was useful, yeah. Alright, well they're being met with um, increased opposition. That's yeah, okay. I believe in that squad. They're probably better than my main squad anyway, than this squad anyway. So, not to mention their guns are better. Okay, speaking of better guns, you guys need to go back over there, because apparently this squad's going there, which means you guys probably need to go back here as well. 
Alright, let's see. So, can I upgrade anyone else? Yes, I can. Oh, good. We're going fine. Everything's fine. I definitely like this versus other games like it. There's a lot of games like this around, but this definitely has a little bit more stuff going for it. Like, for one, it's actually got a fully voiced story, story which is not common, to say the least. Um, but it's also really beautiful, as it's focused on the cinematics. A lot of these games are often very basic, they're just like numbers increasing rather than actual full ships. This one's closer to what you'd expect from a. Uh, like an actual proper RTS game. Wait, what's that piece oh, of junk shit. flying over the canyon? Unlike naval units, flying units can reach any target as there are no obstacles for them. Wait, what? Am I kind of quite Oh god, you think I could be claiming this all this time? Ah. Uh... Well, I do wish they had told me that. I can't even build anti-air, can I? Nope. Uh, everyone else is upgraded, going. Everyone else upgraded, everyone else repaired. You can probably go back to the spot. And you guys will be upgraded as well. Oh shit. Oh shit, no, you're going to the wrong place. Oh god, I did not see that one coming. That's where you're going, gotcha. We cannot let the Raiders steal our equipment. These platforms are the Sharks' property. Like, specifically Sharks? Because I haven't seen many Sharks. Okay, um... Oh god, I should send more troops over there, to be honest. I mean, they're doing okay, but holy hell, that's a big squad. Oh dear. I don't think I've got enough troops for this. I hope they're going to teach me something else about something else. Yeah, let's keep leveling this up, I suppose, or... Oh, maybe that's what I was going to do this whole time. I was just build, build up this build speed, wasn't I? Ah, oh, shit. Hey, please claim that quickly. I need you to be sent back over here for the Sonic. Finally, we've taken back what was rightfully ours. Yeah, but, like, we are losing. You, you are aware of that, right? We're not going well right now. We're actually doing very poorly. Hey, these, these so called rebels. Are incredibly well well um, resourced. I don't know where they got all this from. But they're incredibly well resourced. Oh god, I wish I had some actual AA. Can't you guys do anything against that? Oh god. Those things are not fun. Only these light chips seem to be able to do anything against it. Time is up though. Okay. Only these light chips seem to be able to do anything about against it too. Oh, this is still building over the cap. There's another Zeppelin in the air. Get oh ready God. to engage. Yeah, Hold it. All... They're waving a white flag. Let's Wait, see what? what they want. Wait, what? Why would you... Okay. I kind of want to know too. Like, why would you wave a white flag? 
The Zeppelin, the Zeppelin pilot who deserted the Raiders promises to reveal the location of his allies' former camp. He, cre he guides the sharks through a pile of garbage straight to the Raiders' shacks. Kevin, the commander of support, is eager to use his tactical skills. The Raiders, caught off guard by the muddy waters of New Venice, hold plenty of unpleasant surprises. Okay, so. This has been Oil Rush. Surprisingly, not terrible. Um, not the, like... I mean, literally, like, the, I wasn't expecting it to be, but, like, the graphics are cool. The gameplay is simplistic, but still, in some ways, innovative. Um, it's kind of fast-paced. I see why this would be a good multiplayer game. But, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's not bad. Well, thank you for joining me today on my Mountain of Shame. This has been Oil Rush, uh, and I'll see you next time.